Hey guys, welcome to IBCade, where we talk about cars and tech. Today I want to introduce you the very popular Nissan Rogue. Now this is the redesign, and we have a bunch of models here. We have SV here. So we got, as I was saying, a lot of uh, cars here, SV, SL. And I just want to show you all the various colors and trims like you know I do. And maybe you're in the market for this, right? I mean, this is a fantastic looking car. It's gonna get good reviews. We got this going against CRVs. And I personally think that design this year is, is very forward thinking. And there is one part of this car that I wanna show you. And this is gonna be where I think decision split. So I really like the rear of this car, the SV. This is a good car, it's a good combo, nice wheels, alright? But where I'm curious about your opinion is the front. So I know this is kind of a thing right now where they have very slim daytime running lights in the front. I think it looks alright. Seeing it in person is different from seeing it through the video or a picture or a photo that you see on the internet but I just want to ask you guys do you like this front right here okay so there you are very nice oh I like this silver personally I like the silver one right here so here's side by side of a white and a silver right here and you guys can see I like these wheels right here all right this place had a lot of variety Metro Nissan in Dallas thank you for letting me film uh, you guys have a good variety of Rogue and other Nissan cars which I love so definitely a cool place if you're looking for a Nissan in the DFW area so those are the wheel differences okay, and this one is the most basic trim right here all right versus the SV so let's zoom out right here and see what difference that you're getting okay, you can see the difference in the bumper side the trunk, uh, a lot of difference in the accents. But other than that, if you're, if you're looking to be uh, looking for an affordable Rogue, this is it. Right here, versus the SV. Okay, so here's the SL. Like I was saying, they have all sorts of color terms. But the black, gray, silver, these seem to be the most popular ones. Um, let's go to the front for you guys now. All right. So here we are in the front. So yeah, tell me if you guys are in the market for this sort of SUV. Are you guys looking to get the Rogue? These are very reliable, dependable, nice cars and I think they look fantastic especially seeing them in person I like them a lot uh, oh I like this gold one right here too this one I'm gonna take a guess but it looks like it could be platinum right here oh no this is the SL okay still it's not platinum which is one of the highest, but still the packaging, the chrome, you can tell the difference between the SV and the SL. This is your next trim up. But you could definitely tell it's got a lot more chrome badges. Let's try to get the SV and the SL difference in the front. Yeah. 
I like it quite a bit. And of course your interior is going to be leather in there. Brand new nice interior. And yeah, this is a very nice car. Here it is against the base trim. All right. Okay, so as I was saying, this is the platinum. This is the best of the best cream of the crop. And of course it's going to cost a little bit more usually these cars by like the base trim is five thousand less four five thousand four or five thousand dollars less than your next trim and then the SO and the SVs are pretty similar and the platinum also jumps a couple thousand dollars up uh, really depends on your dealer but basically that's how it goes so you're gonna pay between the base trim and between the best platinum it's a safe bet you'll be paying about seven maybe seven thousand dollars more or more like I said it's all up to the dealer but you're seeing the difference in price just because of the way there's different accents in the car so you just you could tell you know this is not a base trim right here but you can already tell the platinum is got more chrome in the bottom strip right there it just looks much more fancier and look at this the platinum also has these uh fog lights right here whereas the other model does not so that's a difference okay and it seems like there's more sensors you got sensors there sensors here whereas this one does not have a sensor and of course your wheel getting the shiniest we all, this platinum really does look good but it is not cheap when it comes to platinum for all Nissan models models all right so let's go and then here's the side mirrors right here of course you got your two-tone color I love how this looks very fancy and I don't know if you could tell but the interior is very nice love this leather very modern looking so you, all around you're getting a very nice car in the platinum and again your wheels right here there's chrome difference right there and then your wheels that's 19 inch all right so and then here in the back versus the SP so yeah there you have it the very popular rogue you're gonna be seeing a ton of these in the road I, I promise you that you're gonna be seeing a ton of these and I think that uh, these are very well-made cars good cars they are very reliable uh, these are brand new so who knows but usually Nissan rogues Nissan cars are very reliable and I think these won't disappoint either and I think they are going to just be a good bang for the buck. So tell me if you guys are in the market for this, would you get this or the RAV4, CRV? What's your choice? I'd like to talk in the comments below. Hopefully this kind of trim video helped you. If you're in the market and you see all the various trims and colors, here's a red one, you know, and uh, you get an idea for what you want. But I, I gotta say the front looks a little bit different when you see it in person, I like it better in person because these cars are a little bit more bigger in person than I would think when I saw them in photos so there you go yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please sub please throw a like I try to bring you these trims and colors all the time especially for people who are interested in buying cars this helps so yeah let me know what you think and I'll talk to you in the comments below thank you bye